Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Iron Sight, a, um, a free to play first person shooter game. Uh, the developer and publisher is Whipple Games Incorporated. It came out in 2019, it's got mostly positive reviews and it's obviously free. Uh, it's got single player and PvP online and it's for Windows 7 onwards. And you're it's a near future background, resource warfare between military forces and PMC. More than 50 kinds of original weapons with customization options use peripheral objects, tactical drones, active objects to experience dynamic warfare. So this was suggested to me by one of my subscribers to have a go at. Uh, I'm used to playing Battlefield a lot, so I thought I'd try this. It's not like Battlefield, I would say. It's more of the... I don't know what Call of Duty is like, Modern Warfare stuff. So I'm going to go with that, but I don't know. Um, from the get-go, we could get straight into it. Uh, you you have on your main screen, if you never played it, a lot of stuff you can look at. Customizations of your weapons. Um, you've... You've got loads of camos you can unlock with points in-game. I don't think you buy anything physically. It's just uh, you unlock points. Uh, well, not unlock points. So you, you basically um, can set up your loadout and go in and play. Uh, when you, um, you, you, you win coins or you win a box that opens up coins, uh, there's a 20-minute one that comes out every now and then and then you open it up you get 300 and those are used to maybe um, get new camos or you also have to uh, repair your weapons believe it or not so you can't just keep using it um, so there's that there's loads of drones I didn't get to use one yet um, there's drones there's airstrikes and stuff like that but they're not like the ones in like I keep relating to battlefield but they're not like battlefield where you lay down and just move around or whatever like that or commander you don't actually even physically use um, <clears throat> so that's kind of a bit different uh, the gameplay is like I say I got straight into it oh my god the accuracy it, it's I think there's five bars of health but it seems to be about like three bullets and doo -doo, you're dead and you're like what the f and it's you turn around the corner and instantly but you got to remember these guys have been playing it for months I've just played it for three hours so <laughs> it's a big difference between the two um and uh yeah it's it's good you know what i kind of find weird is the fact you can't pick the game mode you want to play it's you all sit in the lobby i think this is like some games i don't know about the early battlefields but with this you you basically can't pick you you sort of wait and sitting there in the lobby and then the game pops up and you're playing it i played team deathmatch that was fine gunmaster uh titan mode and stuff like that. then they played this one which was cyborg i had absolutely no clue what was going on no clue uh i know you were supposed to kill the enemy and they become cyborgs but i spawned with a knife only and the guy next to me who was not a cyborg spawned in with a gun uh and it was like what the hell do i do so i found a cyborg and i was trying to knife the little guy <laughs> obviously i died um but yeah it's it's I would say if you're into first-person shooter games and you want something that's free, bit of a difference, and there's loads of weapons. I mean loads. Um, and you want something with a bit of difference. You want to you, you rank up your weapons, uh, obviously. Then you can buy different camos and all this lot. Then go for it. You know, I, I'm going to probably be leaving this as an open game. So if ever you've seen any of my other videos, basically an open game is that i have uh euro truck um uh what do you call it ghost recon and this will probably be in there uh and it'll be just every now and then i'll play it for about a week or two record a load of footage release it and then go back to the other stuff because i've got plenty of stuff if you look at my channel you'll notice that i've got quite a lot of let's play so that's what i mainly focus on so if i was to continue on this one well, I'd never do it, to be honest, because I play Battlefield. So, um, But yeah, I, I would highly say it's a very good game. Um, you will probably need to play it more often to get used to maps. I was lost at some points. Um, but it's very crisp. It, it started me straight in... in so I thought that was the dog. In Ultra. Um, but it was actually... Um, oh, it was Ultra. And then I dropped it down to High. Uh, and it was a lot better for me. Ignore the camp. Um, a lot better for me, a lot more smoother. 
so highly recommend you have a look at that if it's a bit laggy just drop your everything down to high and turn off motion blur if you're on a pc it's an absolute waste of time having that thing on especially with a first person shooter game you just it's just a waste don't bother with it um okay well hopefully you've enjoyed what's this little mini game review of of iron yeah hello of iron sight um I've got other games in my channel, uh, other first-person shooter games. Obviously, Battlefield is my main one. I have played Call of Duty, but the early Call of Duty. Um, I've got some sci-fi games and whatnot. Um, please subscribe to my channel for any new content. Um, you know, Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you want to write comments in the comments box below about, about this game. Have you played it? Have you got it? Have, do you understand what's going on? Do you understand Cyborg? Uh, do you... <laughs> do you is is it i think it's a longevity game uh it's definitely beta i think it's p belt beta um but yeah please let me know um and if you want any others any other free to play games probably be better for me i would say if it's a full blown first person or multiplayer thing because free to play i can easily play cuz they're free uh even if it's a, a full let's play you know like a, a single player mission and by the way the single player mission in this game is about 4 minutes long so uh, you you do your motions, you go through this thing, you think, yeah, I'm doing okay, and then that's it. It's literally just how to move, fire your weapon, and throw a grenade. <laughs> and get a drone if you can. They're awesome. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and goodbye.